Hey everybody, Sid Garza Hillman here. Today I want to talk about caloric concentration. Before I do, I want to tell you two things I do not like. Calorie counting and portion control. Anybody can force themselves to do either, but they're not sustainable, they're not natural, and basically you're going to make yourself miserable long term. This video is not about weight loss. I want to be clear about that. This is about healthy eating. When you're healthy, when your body is healthy, it will be at a healthy weight. That's my interest and I want people's focus to be on that. But to that end, I want to show you the difference in caloric concentration of different foods. It is appropriate to think about food in terms of the energy that that food delivers, not the size of the food. We often make a mistake, we think about the size, how big the thing is on the plate. We'll say, wow, that's a lot of food. But it may not be energy wise. And that's just the way to think about food that's more appropriate for our bodies. The body doesn't give a crap how big the food is on the plate. The body is essentially saying, are you giving me enough energy to do what you're asking me to do? Or are you giving me too much? Or are you giving me too little? But it needs the energy to do what you're asking it to do, whether you're an ultra marathoner or you're working an office job 15 hours a day. The body needs an energy source. That's the proper way to think about food, not how big it is on your plate. Because as I'm going to show you, depending on the concentration of calories of certain foods, some foods in a very little space pack a wallop and other foods in a ton of space don't. And I just want you to think about that as we move up. If you guys want to see my heavy box nutrition video, you'll get a better sense as you move up the heavy box spectrum, the foods get healthier, but also get less concentrated calorically. It's something to think about as you're trying to feed yourself better. That means that the food takes up a ton of space with a lot less calories, the heavier box it goes, which means as you start eating heavier box foods, you have to start thinking about eating enough food to supply enough energy to do what you're asking your body to do. So let's just dive in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's a close up of all these foods. Just take a look as I'm going through the spectrum here. Got olive oil, some cashews, some sugar, some brown rice, some avocado, bagel, banana, apple, lettuce. Here's what all of these things have in common in the amounts that you see. They are all 100 calories worth of food. Everything I showed you is 100 calories each, which means this little thing. Honey, is this my urine sample? This olive oil, this little amount of olive oil is 100 calories. This massive amount of lettuce, 100 calories. You put this olive oil, teeny little bit, a little less than a tablespoon, on this big bowl of lettuce, what you got here, guys, is a meal made of half lettuce, half olive oil. Not by size, but by calorie. That's the only relevant thing. It doesn't matter. Your body doesn't care how big this salad is. It cares, am I getting enough energy? This is a half and half meal, meaning half super light box food, olive oil, basically an empty calorie almost, and a super heavy box food, Lettuce, lettuce, a lot less calorically concentrated. Olive oil, super calorically concentrated. That's the ball game. The short story is, as you move up the heavy box spectrum, the food gets less calorically concentrated, but more micronutrient concentrated, healthier as you get heavier box. But you gotta pay attention to how much you eat at that point, especially if you're an athlete, everything else. Okay, don't count calories, but if you feel fatigued, maybe you're not eating enough. Don't count calories. If you're overweight, move up the heavy box spectrum. Boom, end of story. Like this video, comment, come back for more.